All right, I'm going to be using the Presto Patterns paper from Stampin' Up! And it is... It's white with a clear embossing. Now, I have used uh, um, Glimmer Mist, homemade Glimmer Mists on them, and it warps the paper. It makes it wrap. I'm going to use Not Quite Navy, Real Red, and more Mustard on this. So I'm going to start with the Not Quite Navy. There is a floral pattern on here along with a border. The border I'm going to make Not Quite Navy. All right. Now this looks just like it's a white piece of paper but there is an image embossed on it and you'll be able to see it when you begin using the inks on it Okay, I've used the Not Quite Navy on the borders, and I've used Real Red on the places where I've determined that the flowers are, and then now I'm filling in with the more mustard. Okay, now you see the pattern emerge. And then now I'm going to fill in with the rest of the colors, the same colors. The Not Quite Navy, the More Mustard, and the Real Red. I've made my own Glimmer Mist, Shimmer Mist, whatever, from the Stampin' Up! inks. And this, this one is More Mustard, uh, Not Quite Navy, and Real Red. So I'm going to spritz these on And then now I'm going to heat it and try to dry it. Okay. So there's the finished piece. Here's the finished piece with the sparkly stuff. This is painter's tape. I get the a lot of the sticky off. Okay, using four pieces of this painter's tape, I've put them on my clothes to get them less sticky. And over a piece of paper, I have left a hole here. Okay, I'm going to stamp the word friends from this tiny tag set. And I'm going to continue using the more mustard, real red, and not quite navy. And again, this is another one of those pieces of paper that has a design on it that you can't see until you do something with it. 
Oh, what color did I do on this side? I did blue on this side. So I'm going to use the more mustard over here. And I'll do some of the real red. And then the not quite navy. Over here. Okay. Now I'm going to put this over where I've just been. With this, this is Presto Papers. And it has little squares in it that are embossed, as you can see. So this kind of makes it look like it has a tile effect. Now I'm going to make a large I'm going to cover over this. Start with some red up here in the corner. And some blue over here. More mustard. And I'll put some over here. This is Lynn Claridge's grid card technique using the Presto Patterns paper. And you can watch Lynn's video on Live Upstairs on YouTube. And she shows you how to do it uh, the correct way.